Oh my god, Facebook! No, but really. So, <clears throat> just before we start this tutorial, uh, from College Tip, just want to say go check out my blog, it's in the description. Uh, Scarch.clothing, scarch my mistake, scarchclothing.blogspot.com. And uh, yeah, so today we're just going to be figuring out some Facebook photos, and or MySpace, or whatever you want, and just pretty much adding uh, value to the photo in general. So first thing we're going to do is just make a copy of our uh, photo. And as I'm doing that, I just want to say that this model's name is Emily, and she's a striving model. So please go support her. Links for her is in the description as well. And so first thing we are going to do is fix the levels. So we go adjustment, levels. And you see these little hills, how they come to the straight lines? You just want to take these markers and bring them to the base of the straight lines. Like so. And then probably turn the mid-tones down just a touch. So then you can already see, like, the difference that it made. It made everything come out a little bit more. Next thing we're going to do is um, we'll stay on this layer, and then we'll just zoom up and we'll bring our healing brush, which is right spot healing brush tool. And then we'll just come up to these pimples, and you just simply have to click. And you can, you can immediately see, like, how quickly these things go away. And if, and if you guys start to get some weird stuff in your healing brush, that just means that you probably selected too many pixels, and that you need to... Uh, and go ahead and make your brush size a little bit smaller and just uh, zoom out a little bit and get it going. So as you can see here, this thing is just, it's almost like too easy how much this thing can just take away um, pimples and stuff that you don't want. And so a little more, one more guy right there, right there. Ooh, what? See, something weird happened there. See, I don't know. It looks it's not too bad, and if you're really going to be doing this for like, like your good personal use, then you'd spend a lot more time on this. All right. Next thing, so we got rid of the pimples and all the imperfections that we see, and next thing that we're going to do is add a surface blur. So what I want to do is copy this, make it its own layer, and then I want to press Alt, and then the um, mask button, and so you click that, and then it just appears black. And so we're gonna, but make sure you select the picture thumbnail. And you go filter, blur, surface blur. And I like mine. 100 is kind of a lot. I kind of like mine right around maybe 70 with a radius or 63 with a radius of four. And you see, okay, and you don't, and you, uh, you don't see anything because it didn't. Uh, your mask is on. But if you take your brush and then make sure you have white, you can click just extra that. Um, and you go over this skin. Oops. Now make sure you have, you select the layer, you take the mask, opacities up, right around, I like 80 maybe. And then you just select, and you start painting over the skin. Maybe it's, maybe it's a little high. And you start painting over the skin. And what it's doing is just blurring, it's not, it's kind of blurring the skin, but it's smart blurring the skin, which will just smoothen some things up. And you can do close and open bracket to make your brush size a little bit bigger or smaller. Um, That looks good. Then we can come down here. And make that. Pretty much it just softens out that skin, makes it look really good. Trying to do trying to do everything super quick right here. So you can see the before and after. Or maybe you need to zoom in a little bit. So before and after, before and after. Looks good. Alright, so next thing that we're gonna do is we have to um, fix the contrast to this. And so what I want to do is I want to make another copy of this, but we can get rid of this new, we can get rid of this mask right here. So you can just click the mask and drag it to the trash can and just say delete. And so, oh, my mistake, don't delete it. Just go back and then make a copy of this background. That's what we want to make a copy of. And then we want to increase the contrast a whole lot. So we're going to go image adjustments, curves, and then I really want to bring out the red in the bricks. And so we're going to like see you can uh, eye drop where it is and you can see that it's fluffing around over here. So we're just going to increase that right there and decrease our shadows. And see that's doing that's doing a little too much for her, a little too much more than we wanted. Uh, but we, we can get rid of that. And if we just add a mask to that, oops, uh, and make sure you're holding alt when you do it. And then it just, it'll all go away. But then you can take out your brush, take out your white, and then just um, put your opacity all the way up. And just bring it out, bring it out with your bricks right here. 
bring it out right there. And uh, one last final thing is kind of cool. If you make another layer and then fill it with 50% gray and then do overlay, you can really bring out some, uh, some colors in the hair. Oops, way too much. Opacity down right at 38% and just bring out her hair a little bit. Just make it darker, make her pop out a little bit. So, and then uh, that's that's pretty good. We could probably could do a little more things with her shirt, and but um, I think that'll be it. We'll merge these, all these layers, and we'll see the after and then before, after and the before. So uh, you can see, add some color, looks out really good. Thanks for watching, and then uh, check out the blog, scarchclothing.blogspot.com, and links in the description. Thanks.